Hello, welcome back to Sh Let's Play Shadowrun Dragonfall, where we are leaving this Humanist Poly Club. And let's see if our smuggler friends are still alive. The uh, leader of this group went down like a friggin' punk. You burst through the door to the Humanist compound and into the crisp night air. You're not far from your extraction point. Time to go. I do not like the way this is describing. I mean, very short descriptions on load screens tend to be bad news. In this game. Oh. We're in combat. Okay. Um... Back to the sniper rifle, please. Let's go something with medium cover. Okay. Humanist mage, humanist member, humanist member, humanist member, humanist member, humanist member. Quick rule of thumb Geek the mage. Get there in time. Yes, I can. Do I have a line of sight on you? Your line of sight is blocked. Oh, neutrals. Awesome. Ow. Oh, there's some over here. You guys are not very good. For all your talk about being warriors for humanity. Oh, you're doing enough damage to the NPCs. Are you another Humanist Mage? You indeed are another Humanist Mage. I'm going to mark you for all our friends. That was less than clever. I am going to get you in the middle of... Ooh. Nice. Ow. Ow. Okay, what ifs? Oh, dang it, I just hit a friendly. 
I'm sorry. So much for your aim accuracy bonus. You have line of sight, you do not. Really? Missing? I'm sorry about the bleeding! Oh, schmuck. Um... There we go. My sight blocked. I have sight blocked. Probably too close. 82%. Oh, I'm using the uh, shotgun. Sniper rifle is too close. Okay. Just get into position. is blocked. You take two damage from bleeding. Should probably have marked him. Are you in my line of sight? You are. I feel great. Let's go talk to, uh, Maxim looks up at the sound of your approach. You'd be surprised to see you he doesn't show it. Crazy night, huh? He pulls a flask from his jacket pocket and takes a long swig that swig looks you in the eye. I hope this was worth the trouble. Any luck finding our money in there? Nope. I don't think they ever had it to begin with, but I guarantee you they'll think pretty hard before crossing smugglers again. No money, but there are a few less racists in the world. All in all, I think we can call this one a win. No, it's, I can live with that. Can we burn this chemical? Oh, no, no, because the fumes cause problems. Can we dispose of this chemical? Thank Christ, that's over with. You okay, Alexander? The young man looks shell-shocked. He holds his rifle clenched tight in his trembling hands. I'm, yeah. Yeah, Uncle Dietrich, yeah, I'm okay. But the, I, those guys, I knew them. One of them was my bunkmate. I killed him. Couldn't be helped. If you hadn't, he'd have killed you. We're gonna take you away from here, back to the cruise bazaar. Get you the help you need. Yeah, okay, I'm both okay. Teacher glances over his shoulder, locks eyes with you. Thanks for this, boss. My nephew is safe. I owe you. One other thing, the Dragon Slayer is happy too. We did just did a ballsy thing, protected my family and gave a monster a bloody nose in the process. Yeah, the Dragon Slayer is like that. Glad to hear that he approves. You should be. When the Dragon Slayer is pleased, he tends to be generous with his rewards. He grins. I can feel the power coursing through me, boss. I don't know what form it'll take yet, but it's there. Soon enough, I'll be able to use it. 
I don't mean to break this up, but we need to get moving. Kid, you're with us. The rest of you, pile into that other van. Continue having your moment when we get back to shop nest. Yes, we're fine. We're fine. Magical healing can only heal the most recent wound a character has received. Okay. The U-Bahn ride home feels especially comforting today. The Berlin chapter of the Humanist Polycarp has suffered a terrible blow. And you're the one who dealt it. Volker Stahl's plan to incite a wave of bloody violence across Berlin has been derailed. It isn't often that a Shadowrunner gets to prevent an atrocity on the job. Not often, but it does happen. And I think one of our other things is going to be getting to cause an atrocity. Sort of. But we're going to do the cleaning up the spy thing a little bit later. I do like the way the, the load screen does the, uh, the updates on the story on these games. Okay. What if I say with a modest plot? Talk to Amsel. Return the data to shock me. What, well, and, well and right, or pay phone. Take the U-Bond. Okay, that's the new objective. Take the U-Bond. Whatevs, I have new information to discuss about the estate. Please come as soon as you can. Okay. I've uncovered what Manus is up to. You'll find the details on that data pad. Fit this back. Beckenbauer eyes the plans on the day pad that nods grimly. This fits with Humanus's established pattern of behavior. Horrific and vile. According to this data pad, Humanus compounds all over Berlin have received similar shipments. They are planning to deploy the gas tomorrow morning. He sails sharply and then nods again. I have a feeling the Flux State will have a thing or two to say about that. Stahl overstepped his bounds. His hubris will be his undoing. Actually, I was his undoing. Volker Stahl is no longer among the living. That? That is excellent news. I am not ashamed to say that I wished the man dead. He deserved whatever you did to him. To be perfectly frank, he died like a... He died like a wimp to a single bullet shot. And now, I'm going... He just stood out in the open and let me shoot him. He wasn't even wearing any armor. And now I'm going to see to it that the rest of his twisted organization suffers in the same way that he did. You mark my words, within the next few hours, the Humanist Polycub is going to take a hammering that will make the Night of Rage look like a peace rally. I owe you a great deal, whatevs. We, we all do. I will wire your payment to the account number that Amsel provided. Pleasure doing business with you. Okay, we are in here, so we're going to hold off on going to the other place to deliver the, uh, that thing. Um, whew. But we're going to do that before we do any of the other stuff. We're also going to talk to Amzel. This blackness bothers me every time. Watch DVDs. But Evs, welcome back. I have news for you. In your absence I have absence I have been looking into the Harfeld mana mana. Whatever Fair Schwang is up to, it is both large scale and well funded. I've uncovered a money trail leading from holding companies all over the world to an offshore fund with a dummy address. From there all of that freshly laundered money flows directly to into the Harfeld estate. Why would the dragon have investors? Actually, that would be common common knowledge. There is actually a dragon on TV that does you know, how much money are we talking about here? I can't name an exact figure, but we're talking about a lot of money, in the millions of New Year, most certainly. Actually, by this time, there's a dragon that runs Denver. Whatever the Firewing is planning, she has access to all the resources she'll need to carry it out. Hirschwing was different. She didn't scheme or plot. She acted. Yes, look where it got her. When the Fireling launched, launched her attack on humanity, it was an act of hubris. She lashed out because she didn't consider our species to be a threat. It would be equally hubristic for us to assume that she will make the same mistake twice. But me, 
out of character knowing Shadowrun the way I do, there's a twist here somewhere. Also, Noir works that way. So does Cyberpunk. I will continue digging into this while, while, while you and the team tackle your next run. With, with luck, I will have more information to share upon your return. Sounds good, Paul. While it was able to restore the readable surface of one of Green D Winter's DVDs, if you'd like to take a look, you'll be find it sitting beside the player. Just one of them? She's still working on the others. Many of them are extensively damaged, and getting anything off of them is proving to be quite a chore. She has told me she'll be in touch if and when she makes any headway. Thanks, Paul. Okay. Should I talk to him? You really came through for me, boss. You ever need anything from me, anything at all, you can call me. I'll come running. How's Alexander holding up? He's a good kid, that nephew of mine. Give him some time, he'll shake Stahl's program. Might take a while, but he'll just a life here in the cruise bazaar. In the meantime, I found a good home for him. Samuel's agreed to take him in. Is that wise? Samuel's employees have no love for humanists. Most of them don't even like humans. The best thing for the kid will be to learn through immersion. If he stays with Samuel's group, he'll have no choice but to interact with the petty humans. Soon enough, he'll learn that they are no different from anyone else. First few days will be rough, no question, but he'll make it through. Come out the other side better man for it. He seems like a tough kid. I don't doubt that you're right. You're a good woman, boss. On to other things. I'm doing the same voice for all the characters. Ugh. On to other things. Remember what I was telling you back before we climbed into the van? I'm now doing this other because I'm trying to do coffee because I can't. Yeah, you were saying the Dragon Slayer was happy and you've given, you been given a reward. That's right. Thanks to our, let's not mince words, heroic actions back in that swine pit, the Dragon Slayer has seen fit to give me grant me his favor. And now that what and now I know what that means and what I can do with it. I'm listening. Don't keep me in suspense. He gestures at the ground near his feet. This. This is going to be interesting. As you watch, the spot that Dietrich is pointing at begins to glow. Lines of force spread out in scintillating web, and a feeling of raw power suffuses your, suffuses your body. I've just torn open a channel between myself and the Dragon Slayer. That power that you feel is his power pouring through the Aether and into that spot. If you're familiar with ley lines, it's the same basic concept. A con I consecrate a patch of ground, and as long as I stand at that spot, all, my, all of my magic gets stronger. Not bad, huh? What about another major shaman? Could someone else benefit from one of these channels? Don't see why not. Like I said, it's basically a ley line. As long as you're on the Dragon Slayer's good side, I don't see why you couldn't use it. My idol? He isn't my idol. He isn't stingy with his gifts. Anyway, boss, I'd want to keep fiddling with this, learning to properly control it. But I'm sure that you've got things to do as well. You take care of whatever else this that you take care of whatever else he's doing, and by our next run, we'll be I'll be ready to use this. I need to figure out how to do consistent voices. Oh well. Take care of Dietrich. You too, boss. See As you approach, eager turns to face you. Her rifle has been field stripped and is lying in pieces on a sheet of butcher paper. Arranged in a neat row along the edge of the paper are bottles of copper solvent, floor cleaner, and lighter fluid. Our fearless leader returns. What do you need? Any thoughts about that last run? After all the moral ambiguity we've been wading through, hitting humanus was incredibly satisfying. What they had planned, it makes my blood boil just thinking about it. The thought of Stahl lying dead on the ground brings a smile to my face. I hope that he enjoys rotting in hell. I'd like to hear about your time in the KSK. No, I'm not in the habit of sharing war stories, whatever. Not with people who've never served. It doesn't have to be a war story. I just want a better idea of who I'm running with. Alright. She looks at you in the eye for a moment, evaluating. Finally, she struggles. Alright, whatever. You win. I owe everything to my time in the KSK. From my street name on down. So you tell me what you want to know, and we'll see where this goes. How did you get your street name? Back when I was in basic training, a fellow recruit made a vulgar joke at my expense. He said that I reminded him of the north face of the Eiger in the Bernese Alps. Huge and beautiful, but dangerous to climb. His tone left Will's doubt as to what sort of climbing he had in mind. I think he was trying to proposition me in his clumsy way, poking me in front of the other recruits to try to provoke a reaction. 
Anyway, he got one. I broke three of his ribs, and the name stuck. Remind me not to proposition you. Brown crosses your face. If you're trying to be cute, or you completely missed the point, neither would surprise me. Don't. I didn't break his ribs because he propositioned me. Whatever. So I'm not a goddamn savage. But I put that recruit down because he demeaned me, and he did it in front of our peers. And so you got angry and you attacked me. Come down, Hager. I was just joking. Funny, that's exactly what the recruit said as he was being dragged off to medic's tent. It was just a joke. I didn't mean anything by it. I was never recommended by the top brass, though. They knew what I knew. Whatever that recruit's intent, he put me in a situation that required a response. Okay, I stand corrected. You might mean that, or you could just be trying to de-escalate the situation. You tell me, Aunt. Fearless leader, you want to hear why I did what I did, or would you rather just drop it? Because there are plenty of other things I could be doing right now. Go ahead, tell me. All right, I will. As soon as that idiot made his little joke, it was a foregone conclusion that I was getting saddled with the name Iger. My choice in the matter was whether it happened under his terms or under mine. If I hadn't broken that twit's ribs, the name Iger would have meant a difficult sexual contest conquest to a whole barracks full of recruits. That's what I would have been to them from that point on. My own accomplish accomplishments be damned. Thanks to what I did, my new name meant the troll who doesn't take shit from anyone instead. It's a name I'm proud to go by. And I've hung on to it ever since. A word of advice to you, whatevs. If anyone ever puts you in a position that he put me in, if he demeans you in front of your unit, whatever is intent, the appropriate response is to put that person down hard. Out in the field, nothing will kill you faster than losing the respect of your team. That's a good advice anywhere, out in the field or here in the shadows. By the way, whatevs, I'm aware that it's more than a little ironic for me to be telling you this. After Monica's death, if you were the one who was dressing me down in front of Amsel and the rest... Well, anyway, I don't want to dwell on it. I just want to say that I'm sorry for putting you in that position. She straight and clears her throat. Anyway, you need anything else? Or can I get back to prepping for our next run? Tell me about your team. Fair enough, I guess you've earned it. There were eight of us, two commando squads, working together as a single unit. Schmidt and Lang were combat deckers, Wolf was our rigger and combat engineer. Fisher handled demolitions, Braun was medic, and the rest of us, Metzger, Kruger, and myself, were weapons experts. Our mission was extraterritorial, technically illegal, but important enough to justify the risk. We'd been sent across the border into Poland. The Russian Mafia had set up a cottage industry in human trafficking all along the older Ness Lane line. It was our job to disrupt it. it. Sounds more like a police action than a military action. When did the GSG usually handle that kind of thing? Typically, yes, but in recent years, the Russian mob has become more and more heavily militarized. The brass decided they posed enough danger to the region to qualify as a terrorist threat, and that brought them under our purview. Anyway, we were a good team, experienced. We went through a lot together and we chalked up a lot of kills. In our own way, I like to think we did some good. Who was in command? Metzger, best leader I've ever had the pleasure of serving under. Her face clouds. He was a hell of a man. But he went down with the rest of the team. Everyone but me. What happened to the team? No, no, that's one story that I won't be telling. They died and that's all you heard about. Thanks, I so was there something else you wanted to talk about, or can I get back to playing my rifle? No more questions. Thank you, Iger. Sure thing, fearless leader. Good talk. She turns back to the disassembled components of her rifle. And I've been stuck, speaking of being stuck with nicknames, I've been stuck with fearless leader. <sighs> Whatevs, what do you need? How are you holding up? Don't worry, I'm solid. You say you're good, you're good. I trust you. I'll talk to you later. So yourself. I'll try asking her the personal kind of question again later. Let's see. If you value new hardware coming into the cruise bazaar, we need to talk. One of my weapons shipments ha was hijacked by a local gang. I can promise 500 new yen, and if you re can recover the shipment, I will have some new gear on the shelf. Please come see me for the details. Okay. Uh, open the jobs. Plain paint. K 
Okay, you submit the job as finished await your client's response. A few minutes later, a message pops onto the screen. Here's your payment, as promised. A moment later, a second message pops into your inbox. The payment details. Okay. Payment from client, 22500 Deductions from for crew salary, 6000 Ammunition and resupply costs, 1500 Automatic deduction for Alice funds, 11250 Remainder sent to Whatev's account, 3750 Payment transfer complete. Awesome. View all pending and active jobs. Here you will find the uh, complete transcript of my conversation with Herr Smith. Okay, got that already. Accept the job. Oh! Whoa, whoa, whoa. Wait a minute. Was... That's a new one. Greetings, Herr Emsel. I trust this connection is secure. Naturally, to whom I, do, do I have the pleasure of speaking? Call me Herr Schmidt. Very well, Herr Schmidt. You have some business for me. Indeed, I have a job for your team. A simple matter, judging by what I've heard of your team. I imagine that they will be well suited to the task. Go on. The interests that I represent have learned that AG Kimi Europe, Europa is working on a company-wide project. Something very secret, very new. Reliable sources inform me that they're keeping a working prototype of this new venture at their Berlin facility. I see. And your employers wish us to require this prototype for them. Naturally. What is this project? If you want my team to grab the prototype for you, they will need to know what they're looking for. I'm not at liberty to say. I can't tell you that the prototype has been branded MKVI. I can also tell you that your team will find it on the 25th floor of the Berlin facility, in the office of one Albrecht Hass Hassofer. Further, I can assist your team in disabling the building security and gaining access to the 24th floor. From there, however, you will, they will be on their own. Further. I can assist your team in disabling building security and gaining access 24 uh, from there. Okay. Such vagueness can be dangerous, Herr Schmidt. I will not commit my team to a run without better understanding what the job entails. Facing such dangers is the purpose of a shadow runner, Herr Elmsel. Your team will be rewarded handsomely for their services. My employers have set aside 20,000 new yen for the job. Consider it hazard pay if you wish. Make it 25,000 new yen or look somewhere else. 22,500 new yen. Final offer. Very well. I will pass your offer on to my team. Are there any further details that you can provide? Hosshofer's office will be locked behind a vault door. The lock is old-fashioned of mechanical variety. I, pr I will provide your team with a copy of the key. I will also supply you with a solid-state device that your team can use to override building security. This will provide them with access to the building's surveillance, camera feeds, and control over the main service elevator. Sounds like Little Sister. Your team will enter through the facility's underground garage. When your team has acquired the MKVI, have them exit through the same garage. I will have a van there waiting to extract them. Thank you, Herr Schmidt. I will pass your offer on to my team. Good day, Herr Abs. Okay, back to Root. And I'm going to go to a new video because I'm re realizing that I, my time will run. See you tomorrow.